In this video, I'm going to go over how to find the line of intersection between two points. So just like on the last video with piercing points, there's two ways to do it. The first, just like on the last one, is to find an edge view of one of the planes, but now we have the plane instead of a line, so we, but we can still find where that edge crosses the two other, the edge of that plane crosses the other two edges of that other plane. Um, and then we can bring them back. The second method is to use the two view method, but now we need to find where the piercing point is for both edges of the plane. And so we also have to know which planes, where, or which edges are going to cross, and if they don't cross, we just need to try another set of, of edges. So we'll copy this over here. Um, I'm going to copy this up. Copy that up. So that way we can do them both. So if we're here and we want to do it using the two view method, I need to kind of try and figure out which which edges and which planes do I want to use. So if I look at this, I can see, well, might as well try this this edge. Try x, y, see, see if edge x, y crosses through the plane. So in order to do that, I'll bring the line down to a, c, and this one's going to go down to a, b connect them and you see that they do not cross inside the plane so that means that that's not a piercing point so that's okay we just need to try another set so if I try um, let's I want to see if X or YZ crosses the plane so I'll bring that corner down that's gonna go to a B and there's no there's no edge there, so if, but if I put my mouse and I use my extension, I can extend up to where that edge would cross. I'm using my po my points on plane or my lines on planes stuff. Um, bring that down to CB. Bring it up, and I see I do get a crossing point there. So, there we go. So I do get a piercing point there, and so maybe I'll try this one now. So I'll see if line AC crosses that plane. So that's going to go up to XZ. That's going to go to XY. And there we go. We have another point there. So now I can just bring these points up. So this point is going to go to line YZ. And back to there. This one's going to go to AC. And back to there. get rid of all that. The ugliness, that is now my piercing, or my line of intersection. And I could put it on either planes layer. Um, same thing there. <clears throat> so now I've found my line of intersection and now I can work with it. So the other way would be to come down and find the edge view. So again, luckily here, I had a line that was parallel to my folding plane, and so that line is true length. So I need to change my UCS to match that object. Draw a folding plane. Folding plane. There we go. And so since I know my green plane is going to be my edge view, might as well do that one first. So connect those points, and then I'll connect those points. So lengthen delta from there to there, delta 
from there to there. So that is now that green plane, which is X, Y, Z. So now I project my ABC. So same thing, connect my line so I can measure. All right, lengthen, delta, folding line to A, click A. Delta, folding line to C, trace it back, make sure I'm on C still, there we go. <coughs> delta, folding line to B, bring it out. So these two planes are pretty close to, to parallel, um, so that's that's why they're really oblique to, or really acute to each other, and it's showing really small. But we can see a point here where they cross, and a point here where they cross. I want to bring that point up to where it hits CB. That's point crosses. I'm going to bring that up to AC. I can connect those dots and I can bring this one back to where it is. So from here, I'm going to change my UCS back, bring my point from there up, and from that to AC, I can then connect, no, and then connect those. So now I have those piercing points. And just to double check what we had on the other one, I'll make a couple little circles here. And I'll copy those up to the one that we did with the two view method, just to see how they compare. And those look good. Those look good, and so you can see that we have the same thing either way we do it. It's just how much work do we want to do. If you have a good idea about which edges are going to cross, the two of you might be easier. But if you don't, then you might spend some time trying to figure that out. Whereas the auxiliary view method, you have to create that extra view, but again, you don't have to try and figure out what's, which lines are going to be part of it. Um, all right, so I've done a little bit of cleanup work. And I'm not quite done yet, though, because I still need to figure out my visibility. In my two-view method, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find it just like I have before. So I'm going to take this apparent intersection of, of edges A, B, and, and X, Z, bring it down to see which of those I hit first. So I hit X, Z first. So that tells me that X, Z is on top right here. So that would also let me know that Y, Z is on top also because they're connected. So it means that this part in here is going to be hidden. So if I use my break, I can give that my hidden layer. So let me check this point from AC and XZ. So again, it hits XZ first, so XZ is on top there also. So I know that from this point to that line of intersection, it's going to be broken. There's my hidden line. So once it hits my line of intersection, though, now it's going to switch from being a hidden line to a visible line. And I can confirm that by coming from here and bring it down for that's XY and AC. So I do hit AC before I hit XY. So there's AC before XY. So that confirms that it does change over. So same thing here. This was visible, and it's going to become hidden back here. 
so change that to hidden. So I would do the same thing here to find visibility. Um, if I look at my one that I had the edge view of, here I can clearly see what's what because here I can see that oops, for I change the color of that plane. That was my yellow plane. So here I can clearly see that in this section, plane AB is nearer to the folding line. So it means it's nearer to the viewer in this view. So that means that AB is going to be above XZ. So that means that this part of YZ is going to be hidden. And then this part uh, is going to be solid. And I can double check that because if I change my UCS, Actually, if I just do it up here, so I can go from either view to create the visibility. So if I come from this corner, I'm checking X, Y against AC. I do hit X, Y first. So X, Y is on top there. And there's that one. So if I kind of take that top view, with that front view, I'd have it finished. So I hope this helped, and I'll see you in the next video.